Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy, and today I'm gonna share with you how to make your voice sound better using Final Cut Pro. Audio is very important for your videos, especially if you're doing in working with interviews, short films, music videos, tutorials, or documentaries. And one thing that I always like to say, if you have a good video with a bad audio, doesn't work. You need good audio so people can hear you and can understand what you're saying. If I'm recording my video with no audio, you're not gonna be able to understand anything. If you're sharing some information or if you are telling a story, you need a good sound. But if you have a bad video with a good audio, you can get away with it. I'm gonna share with you today my secrets and don't think that this is the perfect way because this is just the way that it works for me. First thing that you gotta do is make sure that you have a microphone. Doesn't really matter if it's high quality, cheap, simple. And if you don't have a microphone, I know everyone has a phone. We have the ability to record high quality audios. Sync later is very easy. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video right here. Now that you have a microphone, make sure that you put or bring as close as you can to your mouth. You can show in your frame or you can just hide. Like in my case, my microphone is literally like right here. You can have a extension cord, it's not necessary, but if you're recording with a 50 millimeter, you're gonna need a little bit of space. This way I have the ability to record for a long distance. Make sure to check the peaking audio settings on your camera. In my case, on my Sony a7 III, because I have my microphone very close to my mouth, I try to use between three in five the level on my camera and i try to don't get to the red and it's better to leave on the green and keep the levels low because later you can fix that one last tip for you guys before we jump on final cut pro try to use some blankets or some carpets in a space that doesn't create echo if you're in a space that doesn't have much things the sound is gonna bounce everywhere and it's gonna be not great or if you don't have anything feel free to use a blanket and put on top of your head it's gonna be like a acoustic studio because it's not gonna reverb, do echo and anything. Those are some tips for you. Try to apply in your next videos or projects and hopefully this can help you to bring your quality to the next level. Let's jump on Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you how I treat my audios. The first thing that I do on my videos, I treat my audio right away. I just drag and drop my preset on top of my clip. I'm gonna show you how to do that later and now you're gonna go to the effects tab and you're gonna look for channel EQ and you're gonna drag on top of your video and make sure that you copy all these numbers that I'm gonna give you right here on the screen. Feel free to pause as well. By any means, I'm not an expert, I'm not a nerd, I don't know what this means, I've just trying to share some information with you, okay? <laughs> the next thing is gonna be the adaptive. Feel free to copy my settings as well. Do a little touch and adapt little things to see what works better for your voice. For the last but not least, the compressor. Test, change, adapt, all this good stuff. And now I'm gonna show you how to create your own presets so you can just drag and drop on top of your next videos. Can you see the magic button, save effects presets? That's it. You're gonna click there and you're gonna put the name that you want in the category that you want and Make sure that you select all the effects and then you're gonna press save. After that, you're gonna go to the effects tab and you see that you have your own presets and the only thing that you gotta do is just drag and drop on top of your videos. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today, but this is just a little bit of information. If you wanna keep learning, improving and bringing your editing skills to the next level, I have a playlist of Final Cut Pro tutorials right here just for you. It's more than 30 videos. It's free and has a lot of information. It's straight to the point, just like this video make sure to give a like this is gonna help me a lot we are 700 we are just starting hopefully we can keep it growing thank you very much i'll see you in the next video